Welcome to the AACS Daily News for May 10th, 2017. Recently, the 30th Annual Outstanding Vocational Student Award Ceremony was held in Worcester. Attleboro High School senior Molly Rivetto was one of 53 students in the Commonwealth to receive this honor. I just received the award for basically being the top CET student in Attleboro High School. Um, past three, four years, I've been really excited to kind of like indulge in the medical field by taking the medical assistant class. And it made me really want to pursue my career later on in life for becoming a nurse. That's what I'm going to be majoring in. My name is Jennifer Espinall. I am a medical assisting teacher here at Attleboro High School in the CTE department. We here in the medical assisting program um, give our students kind of a sneak peek into what happens if they decide they want to pursue into the medical field in general. Everything from doing paperwork all the way to clinical aspects of the medical field. Um, we have, we're like a two and a half year program, almost three year program. So our students do start with us um, as sophomores and continue all the way through. We build everything from the medical language all the way up to um, keeping yourself clean, washing your hands, to getting ready for surgeries, taking vital signs. So we try to give like a very large umbrella of what they'll actually be learning. Uh, most of our students do decide that they're going to go into the medical field, so they have like a heads up before they go into the actual field that they decide they want to go into. The students that are selected for this very prestigious award are ones that um, excel within their CTE programs at their school, uh, but they also have to bring a vast portfolio. They have to be able to um, be strong in their uh, core academic classes. Uh, they have to be able to show volunteerism, community service, uh, extracurricular activities, and they have to be able to show that they can balance lots of aspects of uh, their high school career. If you look at Molly's case in particular, um, she's a student athlete. Uh, she's in the National Honor Society, the National Technical Honor Society. She has two part-time jobs. Uh, she clearly is someone that uh, is a perfect example of what it is that we try to impart to all of our students in our Blue Pride community about excelling at all levels. Well, my aunt is an RN. She lives in Florida. Um, that's kind of what kind of directed me towards it. I also really just like love helping people in need and just like having that like feeling of people coming to me who need help. Like that just makes me feel so good inside. I wish that they offered something like this at the high school that I was in. I knew I wanted to be in medical, um, so this would just kind of push somebody even further if they were like, oh, you know what, I might want to do nursing, or I've always liked to help people, so it can push people to let them know that it's definitely that's something that they want to do, or it could do the opposite, where maybe they, instead of going to college and getting into their classes and being stuck in um, a major that they might not like, they'll know beforehand. One of the things that's really important as a district priority is that we offer relevant experiences for our students. Um, and I, I'm, I'm hard pressed to think of another program within our school that is as relevant as medical assisting. Um, you know, through the test of time, people are always going to need um, medical attention and health care. And the fact that, uh, you know, we have such a thriving program um, in medical assisting through our CTE department uh, with a waiting list, it's a testament to the two strong teachers, um, Ms. Campalone and Ms. Espinal. Uh, and the, the family atmosphere that they, that they build within the medical assisting program. Molly's been great because she always puts, you know, 100% into all of her work, everything from, you know, the paper-wise and research all the way to dealing with patients. So it, it kind of gives the kids that maybe might struggle in, you know, the research aspects or the book work, um, it gives them a different opportunity to, you know, apply their knowledge in other ways. You never want to like just give up just because you think it's something is hard. Like I struggled in this class like a few times. I kept pushing myself, and now I'm going off to Salem State, class of 2021, and I'm going to be nurse major in nursing. And I don't know, just like focusing on that like made me want to pursue my dream and become a member of the medical field. That's all for today's update. You can watch all of our content in high definition on our website, doubleacs.com or our mobile app for iOS and Android devices. For AACS News, I'm James Friedman. Thank you for watching.